subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see how to draw the thermal circuit for plane walls in series considering both conduction as well as convection heat transfer. So let's get started. First I'll draw the diagram. So here is the diagram in which here there is a composite wall made up of three different materials having three different thermal conductivities like K1, K2 and K3. These walls are connected in series that is one after the another and they are having lengths as L1, L2, L3. Now these values they can be same or different and at the same time this wall is subjected to fluids on both the sides as we can see here the diagram which i had drawn here this indicates a convective film which is there because of the fluid present on both the sides so i'll say that on to the left hand side the, there is a fluid which is present similarly there is a fluid on the right hand side as well and because of the presence of the fluid there will be convection heat transfer and here the assumption is Onto the both sides of the wall, there are temperatures T1 and T2 and T1 is assumed to be greater than T2. So the heat would be flowing from temperature T1 towards T2. This is the direction of heat flow. Now in order to draw the thermal circuit, first I'll say that the area of the wall of each of the walls are same. So A1 is equal to A2 is equal to A3 and that I'll denote it by capital A, the common area which is perpendicular to this heat flow direction. First of all, understand how many resistances are here. At first, there is a convective film. So because of this film, there will be a convective resistance. Then for plane 1, there will be conduction. Next, then also it will be conduction. Similarly, for the last plane wall, also there is conduction. And at last, there is another film, which is of convection. So in total, there are 5 resistances or 5 thermal resistances. Now, I need to denote them with the help of a thermal circuit. So there are five resistances R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. Next, because of the presence of all these resistances, I'll write the equation of heat transfer and for that
the total rate of heat transfer would be Q is equal to in the numerator there will be temperature difference that is T1 minus T2 into the denominator there would be these five resistances and for that I'll explain step by step first R1 R1 is the convection resistance because of the convective film and this R1 we can get it from Newton's law of cooling because that is the governing law for convection heat transfer and quickly I'll write that Newton's law that it is since from Newton's law the rate of heat transfer is H into surface area into the difference of temperatures here it is T1 minus T2 so I'll write down it is T1 minus T2 then here it is H into AS so for that I'll keep T1 minus T2 in the numerator and into the denominator it would be H upon A that would be 1 upon 1 divided by H upon AS so this 1 divided by H upon AS is nothing but the convective resistance and here HI is the inside heat transfer coefficient for this inside fluid which is over here that is the inside fluid and here there is an outside fluid so to write the first resistance it would be 1 upon HI that is inside convective heat transfer coefficient into AI which is the inside area perpendicular to the heat flow or the surface area plus the second resistance is there for this single wall which is having length L1 that we can get it from Fourier's law of heat conduction and it is given by Q is equal to the temperature difference T1 minus T2 upon L upon Ka so that is the resistance due to conduction so it would be written as L upon Ka and since we are writing for wall 1 I have to add suffix 1 here similarly for the second wall again conduction heat transfer L2 upon K2 A2 and for the last it is L3 upon K3 A3 plus at the end there is again a convective film for that also I am going to use this convective resistance which is 1 upon at outside the coefficient is HO so HO upon AO it would be T1 minus T2 here this first one is resistance R1 plus R2 R3 R4 and R5 and if I want to write it in a general form Q would be equal to the temperature difference upon the addition of all the resistances which is the summation of thermal resistance so it means if there are walls in series having conduction as well as convection heat transfer we have the temperature difference in the numerator and thermal resistance in the denominator so finally the circuit would be completed like here the temperature is T1 and on the other side it is T2 so heat flows because of temperature difference there is heat flow passing through all the resistances and this is the thermal circuit for the given conditions at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel at the same time share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching